Hey, good musician morning, and thanks for hanging out. I'm looking forward to a wonderful concert this evening. And it occurred to me that I got cut short on a video I was making the other day, right before I started talking about some cumbia rhythms that I did not realize that some of my harpist friends were excited to hear about. So I thought I would show you a couple of different rhythms this morning, or musician morning, if you will, that might be fun for you to enjoy exploring your harp a little bit. Um, I've had a really good time being put through my rhythmic paces with the mariachi orchestra and they have really uh, shown me some things and also given me words to define things I didn't quite understand what, I, what were but I was doing anyway so let's talk about a couple of basic rhythms and get you going so what I had talked about or teased a little bit with a cumbia which is a dance rhythm and uh, essentially you're only going to need about four chords to do this properly I'm going to pick E minor just because it lends itself well to this so the cumbia bass is one three five, uh, one three five built on the triad chord. So one two, one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six, and it's a dance. So we're gonna count a really fast six, but there's a lag between the one and the two. So dig this one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one. of the root triads of the E, A, and B majors. So all that is one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. with your right hand. So think about your left as one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and two, three, four, five, six. So that's the alternate beat is with the right hand. So essentially it's a fast six with a lag between the one and the two, and you are rocking the triad chord formation up and down from the one, four, five, one. Uh, anyway, so that's a basic cumbia beat. If you have fun with that, I wish you would try it. Uh, there are a lot of really cool pieces that you can use that on, and it's also really good for improvisation, as long as you keep in mind that you are dividing a fast six in your right hand, and as long as you are arpeggiating that chord structure, you're going to be fine. Also, feel free to throw in some seventh chords, because seventh chords make you nasty. Yeah. rhythm I wanted to show you is a huapango beat and a huapango is also a dance beat as well and that's also in 6-8 so let's take a look at Malagueña Salarosa is the piece that I have pulled up here to show y'all so this is kind of oh so here's the beat that we're going with different. One and two and three. So if you want to see exactly how I'm doing this with my hand, one and two and three and four and five and six and one, two and three and four and five and six. So I'm doing rhythmic muffles here. One and two and three and four and five and six and and I'm hitting that top with my thumb. So one and two six and That's 
a basic Wapango beat, and you can have a lot of fun with that too. Just remember to count it out while you play it until it starts to be second nature to you. So one and two and three and four and five and six. And. So the emphasis on the two and the five is what gives that its special sauce. And that I think it's fun when we learn about rhythms uh, that we learn how to execute them properly. They're a lot of fun, and you can create your own ideas from forms that have come before. So I'll tune in later on this week or next with some more rhythm play for you. I want to show you a bolero. I want to show you a couple of other things. But anyway, so rock on. So to recap, your whole pango is... beat so one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one two and three and four and five and six and anyway have fun dividing the beat and I'll talk to y'all later if you find yourself counting to yourself like a crazy person you can absolutely blame me and you're welcome have a great day